That last one, we talked about custom managers and custom query sets to have a little bit more of a dynamic way to load um, our marketing message. So if we see in here, this will adjust based on um, the date or the start date that this actually happens, and also if it's featured and all that. Um, so in this one, we actually want to take one step further and add timing, so real time, to how this is actually going to be shown up. So if, if the date and time, so like today, it, this message should show up based on the day that it is, not the fact on how it's ordered, right? So who cares what the start date is because we realistically want it to show uh, bet like this message between these two dates. We don't want it to show any other time, right? So if it's between these two dates, we want to show that. If it's between the other ones, we want to show that. Uh, so to do that, we have to actually adjust our um, getting our featured item here, we're gonna to have to just adjust this a little bit to actually work with how our um, object is dated, right? So what I need to do now is import date and time. So date and time gives me the actual date and time of now. So let's actually look at it with middleware. I'm also gonna import it here, so just so we can see it. So import the date time module, that's a Python module. Um, so we're going to do date and time dot date time dot now. And I'm just going to print this out. Okay, so this is going to give us this time object. So if I refresh in here, uh, we're going to see that it gives me the date and time. It does it a few times, but at the very least, it's showing me the date and time of now. So if I refresh, it's going to constantly be showing me what that new time is and then eventually it's actually gonna change time. So it's, it's gonna be fairly accurate as to when, when that is. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this out of our middleware. We don't need it here right now. There's no reason to have code in there and when you don't need it. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, we can keep this order by, and we then would wanna filter down even more, or actually we don't even need to filter down even more. We would filter beforehand and we would say start date underscore underscore is less than or equal to so less than or equal to equals date time dot date time dot now all right so let's see what is this exactly so start date and then un two underscores less than or equal to so that's what lte stands for in this case if i got rid of the e it would just be less than if I keep the E, it's less than or equal to. Um, so the start date would be less than or equal to this, right? So the start date would have to be prior to today. So that's what less than or equal to stands for there. It's not going to be G for greater than or equal to today. It would be less than or equal to today, or more specifically now, because we did a date and time field, right? So a date time field means that we can be very specific as to when we want it to end. Right, so 2.31 p.m. is what we've got there, uh, where this will then be a very specific call for that as well. Um, and a nice little trick in Python, because it's starting to come over here, is to use this slash and then pressing enter, and we can tab it in. This will allow us to go in a new line, so this just ignores what just happened, basically, and it will still continue this on. So I'm going to do that one more time with order by and press enter. Okay, so now... We've got this featured item, right? So we're getting all the items that are featured and then we're filtering it by today. So it has to be greater than today to even be eligible to be displayed. And then it's still or, um, sent by order date. Well, there's one more that we have to do and that's dot filter. And that's end date is um, greater than, right? So it's gonna be greater than, the end date has to be greater than equals to date time dot date time now. So we could say greater than or equal to, or we could say greater than. Uh, I definitely want it to be greater than the end date. Like, I mean, let's think about this realistically. Um, if something was gonna end and we want it to end now, then it's gonna be either gonna be greater than or equal to that. So it's gonna be equal to now, right? So if I want it to end now, it's gonna be equal to now. That's what the time's gonna be. So we would still want to use greater than or equal to. Um, so if that's the case, 
then the start date should be less than, not equal to, but less than this. So now that it's no longer equal to, that means if there's another one that's just ending now, the start date of the next one will end shortly after now, right? If that makes sense. Um, hopefully that does. Well, the start date of the other one prior to this should at least be able to end on that exact time. And then right after that exact time, the next one will show up if there is a next one. If there's not, then that's okay. And then this will go all the way to the end date. The end date, I think for certain aspects of what we might use, this would work really well. Um, so if you wanted to have a hard end date, then you would do that, right? So if in our message, we included the end date in that message, like ends at 11.59 p.m. or something like that. Uh, then this end date, you would want that to end definitely at that exact time. And you could do that. Um, there's no problem there. And that's how this would happen. Uh, versus the start date is probably a little bit more flexible. Nobody's waiting for a specific start date of something, probably. And if you did have to be super specific on that start date, then you could do equals to. That's okay, too. All right. So now that we've got this, this will allow us to adjust our marketing message based on this time period that we have here. Now, something to note is perhaps we don't want all of this stuff inside of the manager, but we might want it inside of the query set, right? So it should make sense that we would want to filter that it's featured now, like it's going to be featured now. So that's one thing. And then we also probably want to have it still ordered by the start date. So I'm actually going to fix this stuff a little bit. First of all, I'm going to change the order by and get, get it out of the query set manager and the, mar, uh, the model manager and just put it into the models itself. So down here, I'll do class meta. And this is ordering now. And then we just do negative start date. So now it just changed the ordering of how it's going to render anyway. Right, so this allows me to change it. And you can do this in a list of things. So you could do start date and then next thing would be end date. Right, and then you could go all the way down. You could also then do timestamp, update it. You can have all types of ordering. So this will stack, which is nice, but it's going to go off the first one, which would be start date, which makes the most sense. So now we can get rid of this completely and keep that zero there. Because uh, we still want to get that first item. Um, and then the filtering itself, this is where we're going to actually bring this up here. So I'm just going to cut this out and put dot slash, or well, you don't need the dot there actually, just slash and then slash and one more. And let's put the zero up here now. Okay, and then we could also even just put active uh, up here as well, but I'm just gonna leave it as, as this. All right, so now we've got this filtered. This is actually gonna work very nicely for us. And another thing too is then we could just call filtered or featured, and that's gonna allow us to do get the list of the featured ones uh, whenever we need to. So this right here is going to give us the list of the currently featured ones or could be currently featured, uh, where in this case, it's going to actually go off of the most, uh, the the earliest start date. So the most recent start date is going to be what's going to be grabbed here. Now you could obviously, you could change how all of this stuff works if you'd like. So if you wanted to actually have an ordering in here, you could do that. Or you could also have a list of items, get featured items, and then in your middleware, you just rotate through on how you'd want them. All right, so now that we've got this, let's actually test it out. Uh, so we're gonna go back into our store and we have, this is a marketing message, hello. Let's see why it's saying this is a marketing message, hello. Well, first of all, October 19th was an end date. And according to my current date, let's scroll back up to when we printed that out. Um, I've got a lot of issues here. Scroll up, scroll up. Okay, so these are the times, so 10, 29, 2014, right? So it's still going to be showing this other one because it's so it's still active, right? It didn't actually end because of 10, 29 uh, being the case, right? So it actually will end very soon. So let's go back in here and see why it's not actually ended 
because this is also, oh, it says 11, not 10. So let's actually put this to 10. Save it. Refresh in here. And we might have to log out, log in. Nope, that's still coming through and that's coming at 10 to 30. Oh, I changed the wrong date. That says of November, we're in, this should be 10. All right, so save it, refresh, and now it goes away. Okay, so now that's a dynamic way of how our marketing messages are actually gonna show up, up there. And we're gonna be able to use this over and over, right? So we can use something like this uh, in the future. And perhaps we don't want it to be marketing message query set. Maybe we just want it to be a model query set or, or custom model query set or something like that because this right here can be used over again. It doesn't have to be specifically just on this uh, marketing model. And also this can be used again. again uh, it does not uh, again have to be on this message. So that being said, we could just change this to being marketing ma manager and marketing query set manager. So of course change everything if we do. And I'm gonna change this down here. All right, and gonna just get rid of that completely. All right, so now it's still gonna work. Do a refresh and let's put our date back. Uh, this time I'm gonna change another one to being, let's say the 19th of December. Refresh in here, it's back. Um, so that's cool, right? It actually shows whether or not it should be shown. And that's important for us in general because we wanna make sure that this marketing message is there and it is displaying and it's displaying at the correct time. All right, so let me know if you have any questions on this one. Otherwise, let's keep going.